Hi all, I'm going to teach you today about another awesome digital resource the library offers called Novelist Plus. So you'll see we're at the library webpage. So you'll go to that address and then you're going to go to Digital Collections. And we're going to learn about Novelist Plus today, which is right down here. So you can see this little purple banner. So you'll see in blue it says Novelist Plus, and once you hover over it, it'll turn green, and that is your link to get to it. It's going to ask for your library card number. You're going to type that in. If you don't have it, feel free to call the library at 653-2726. We're happy to provide that for you. And if you don't have a card right now, we can uh, provide you with a temporary card while we're closed, especially now to help you during this time. I'm not going to type in mine because I want to keep that private. Once you're signed in, you'll see Washington Free Public Library in the corner. That's a really good thing. That means you're in the right spot. So here's the first thing you'll see when you open up Novelist Plus. It's a great, great tool for finding book recommendations. You can find, if you're really a huge James Patterson fan, you can find books and authors that have similar writing styles as him, or if you like certain um either authors or series, you can find things like that. If you like a certain genre, you can find different authors and books like that and really customize what kind of mystery you like. You can search by keywords. So say if you wanted to find some dog books for your kids, you can search that. And you can really customize it over here from the age range, you want fiction or nonfiction. You can do both. You can have publication date. And then when you hit update results, it will even make it more a specific list. Say this is the one you want right at the top. You can click on that. It tells you the age range, that it's fiction. It has read alikes along the side. So if you really like that one and want more like that, you can click to view those shows you a little bit of a review. You can even read more about the book over on this side. Talks about subjects and characters. And up here, say if I really liked it and I want to save it for later, I click on this folder with a plus and it will take this book right up here. Say you want to keep some books to check our online catalog to see if we have them. You could keep them in here, print this off or copy them. The only downside, it doesn't save. So the next time you log in, this won't be here. So make sure you copy that or print that before you're, you leave your session. So we're going to go back to the home screen. So you could also search by title, author, series. So like I said, if you want the Hunger Games series, really great because you can search by that. If you want some series read-alikes, like I told you there were, you can look, click on that link underneath it and it brings up some great other options for you or your kiddos to read, which is really nice. Sometimes we just don't know where to go next. And it's nice to have a resource to help with that. Say your kiddos teacher asks you to do a read aloud for your son or daughter's class. You can even search by read alouds. And you want it on springtime. Say you do not want it to have animals in it. You can even do that. See what that brings up for us. So now it brings up books that are about spring, but that don't have animals in it. It will tell you the Lexile, Accelerated Reader, even the age range. So it's 9 to 12. So if you wanted this for a three-year-old, you would know it would not be the best one. So you can click on it and it even go deeper in finding out what about it. So the Reviews School Library Journal is really great. They give great, great resources and um, tell you about the book, get great reviews. More about the book is going to tell you kind of the tone of the book, the genre, the writing style, subject headings, it's really, really great. If you were not to know, you didn't know what the Lexile number meant, you can even click on them and it will show you the grade level that is attached to the Lexile number, which is really helpful because not everyone knows how to do that. And when you don't have a teacher with you, it's really great to have that resource at a cl 
click away. I'm going to go up back up here to home. Say we're going to want to find a book for our teen. So we can click on advanced search again. And we can go down here and do teen. So we want a comic or superhero. Say we want it to be fast paced. I can't type today, guys. Face paste. That would be a new one, wouldn't it? So that's an appeal factor. So we're going to search here. And you'll see a bunch of fast paced comic or superhero books for your teens which is awesome. So if they really like this one, they can find titles that read alike or author read alikes or series read alikes, which I think is amazing because you just really get to customize that for your kids. That's another way to do it. So we'll go back home. Let's say we have an adult who wants a mystery. I'm going to go to advanced search again. and say we want it to be chilling and that's going to be our appeal factor let's see let's try and not graphic see if that brings up anything And it does. So if you want a mystery that's chilling but not graphic, you can search for that. And isn't that awesome? You can totally find a good list of books that are going to be suspenseful and chilling but not graphic. You can even select it down to even location and subject and time period and writing style, pace of the book, the character. If you want strong female or complex or likable. It's just pretty amazing what you can do here. You can also, let's try to do a mystery again and see if we can do fast paced. See if we have a female ca character that we can have in there. that brings us and it does so if you really want a subject to be female and you want a fast-paced mystery here are some options which is really awesome you can really customize this to be really great as you could see when I do an advanced search you'll see this down here you can even customize it more than your wording you can do by age. You can have look by award winner if your kiddos need to read an award winner for school. You can do the style by audiobook, the grade level, Lexile range, the accelerated reader level. You can look for if it's an audio, unabridged or bridged. You can look for the author's nationality or the gender of the author. I mean, you really, really can do a lot. The public, publication date. It's pretty amazing what you can do. You can also search for books to see if they are have book clubs. Um, discussion questions. Some do. Not all books do. But it's another great service that Novelist provides. So it has great reviews of each book by really great, trustworthy places like Publisher Weekly, Library Journal. You can go to more about this book and that can get you some of your terminology when looking for certain things like tone and storyline, subjects, author characteristics, 
here's your list and articles that gives more information and resources about your book. And you can see book discussion guide right here, the yellow house. You'll click on that. Super easy, guys. So wonderful. And then it gives you the summary about the book and some discussion questions. Sometimes the thought of even hosting a book club or discussion time is gives people anxiety. So it's a great resource to have. And they even took it a step further. Up at the top here, quick links, author read alikes, book club resources. So you can click on that and you can search through all the books and resource guides that Novelist provides, which is right here. Wonderful. You can even find book display ideas, books to movies, genre, genre outlines, grab and go book lists, and things like that. They have reader's advisory. You can buy, browse by the same thing, uh, award winners, audiobooks, genres. You can even have these really great how do I columns right here. If you're having trouble, this will link you to great resources like articles and videos to step you through questions you have, which is awesome. I love a good video to figure stuff out. So over here on this side, you'll see you can even look um, by best of 2019 fiction, fantasy, fiction A to Z, fans of, I think is really cool. If you love Gilmore Girls, you can click on fans of Gilmore Girls, and it's going to give you a list of recommendations for that. Sorry, my computer is a little slow today, guys. Thanks for being patient. As that loads, as you see, it has even like fans of Harry Potter, things like that. So you can see all these books that are kind of the same feel as Gilmore Girls. And over on this side, too, it has additional lists. It's really fun. It's been fun just to play with. Remember, you can search by even grade and age, so don't forget about that. You can search by genre, and if you click on it, they have different historical fantasy, classic fantasy, dark fantasy, graphic novels has one. They even have one reading during pandemic, cozy and gentle stories, heartwarming reads, funny and lighthearted. I think those are great resources right now to take advantage of, especially during this time. They have fans of American Horror Story, Black Panther, um, Sherlock, Handmaiden's Tale, This Is Us. Such fun, great resources. So I really challenge you guys to come um, go onto our website, play around with novelists, get your list started of books that you would like to see the library has, but you can also do that while you are from the comfort of your own home. So once you make your list, you can click right up here at our webpage that says library catalog and you can go and you can search by title or author what a book you saw on novelist that you might want now sadly we don't have every book that's on novelist but if it's something you think the library would be interested in always give a book recommendation not saying we can get everyone but it's a great um we love to know what our patrons want to read so it's a great option to suggest or just something you maybe want to purchase for yourself later on um, and then donate to the library whatever you want to do we just really um, want you guys to have fun with these resources and enjoy them and we just hope that um, you are staying safe at home and having a wonderful time enjoying some time with your family and reading and we are so looking forward to opening back up and serving you guys We've been doing a lot of great projects around the library, so we hope you enjoy it soon. So enjoy these digital resources. Thanks for listening to another talk of mine. I hope you have a great day. Thank you. Bye.